Redneck Game Master here coming to you with another video. Uh, today I took out a whole bunch of NPCs and I'm going to show you those right quick. Um, I took my one, two, three, four, five of them without, um, without getting any reinforcements. It was actually pretty great. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. This was Smatter level 13. And let's go ahead and check that one out. First thing I want to do is try to take out anything that's you know close by each other. Um, and I didn't quite get the sniper uh, tire taken out, but that's all right. So I'm gonna just go ahead and let's see here. I'm gonna take out that mortar because that mortar can do a whole bunch of damage that we definitely don't want. Finish out that sniper tire, and then I'm gonna lay my fellers out. Now my warriors are gonna go straight to smacking booyah shaka booyah shaka. Now they're getting burned. But uh, I always like to shock something that's fishing to take them out. And you can see me using my shock pattern there. But I got just a ton, man. I got a ton of riflemen. I'm telling you, I got more riflemen right now than a, than a whole thing of ants in an ant pile. You know, they just swarm out of there. And as you can see there, I got an easy win on that. Um, now, let's go ahead and go to the next one. I destroyed Leatherface. You can see they're all, like, really close together. So I didn't even have to, you know, get reinforcements. Um, so let's go ahead and look at Leatherface here. Once again, I'm attacking with the same people. Um, it is the uh, Warriors and the Riflemen. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and start taking out these mines because it looks like if I can just get to the mortars, then I'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking out the mines here. There you go. And if you shoot right in the middle of them mines, they'll blow them up. But I dropped my people. I'm going to shock this area right here. Well, I thought I was going to shock it. Nope, I just let them. <laughs> Sorry, I just let them go at it. And uh, as you can see, my warriors there, booyah shaka, booyah shaka, booyah shaka. And easy win. Um, you know, my riflemen get to stay back when my warriors go in there for the, for the kill. And uh, it really helps out. So let's get on over to my next one that I destroyed. I had carrot stick. I had carrot stick level 15. I'm not sure why it's called carrot stick. But... It is. So let's go ahead and see um, what we had in store here. Um, so I'm going to take out some of these mines here. So just bear with me. Uh, because I need a place where we can just dive in there. And you can see me systematically taking out the ones I think are going to be most dangerous. Usually a flamethrower for riflemen is pretty dangerous. I want to get up here to this missile launcher. Um, and take that out as quick as possible because that missile launcher can do a whole lot of damage. And uh, then I'm going to just go to the side of the base here. Shock that machine guns and then booyah shaka. We got to win. That's how you do it, fellas. Just how you do it. Um, so we got to win there. We're going to go ahead. And then I destroy Crater Maker level 13. Let's take a gander at that. You know, this one wasn't too hard. Um, I'm going to take out some of the mortars here because the mortars are going to do the worst damage unless those flamethrowers you know, get right up on my riflemen. And then I'm going to come in from the right side over here. Drop my fellers, go straight to the mortars. My warriors are booyah shuck in, and then I get in there. Flamethrowers can't get me. I got an easy win. All right, and the last one is the Rising Sun. And that's a level level 11 rising sun. So I take that out. Now this was fairly easy. I'm just going to take out this boom cannon on the left. And then I'm just going to skirt everything. Just going to go around. You know what? You, you, you get a big line of defense. I'm just going to go around that bad boy. That's what I'm going to do. So I go around here. You got to keep throwing those flares because once they go to, your, to the place, then they'll just go and attack whatever. So I got everybody behind the base, away from the flamethrowers. They really can't do much. I'm just going to shock them just to make sure, and then boom, easy win. Now, fellas, that's how you take out five NPC bases. Uh, if you have any questions, just put it in the comments, but like, subscribe, you know, uh, comment on my channel. Y'all tell me what you want to see, what you don't want to see, and I I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Yeah!